Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I am going to be talking about my own personal February self-love challenge. So this is something I'm going to be doing personally. I extend it to anyone else who would like to join me. You don't have to do the same things that I'm going to do. It's basically like, how can we focus on giving back to ourselves in this month? So I'm choosing February because it's always a month centered around love, which is amazing. And I love my family and I love my husband and I have a significant other and that's awesome. But there are a lot of people who don't. And I feel like there is a lot of, um, pressure with movies and magazines on the importance of women or the feeling of that a woman needs a man to complete them or you know if you don't have a man then you're kind of missing out and all these things and as much as I love my husband I also want to feel that my self-worth comes from me and not because I'm attached to him and I think that's important because a lot of times there's so many women that hate Valentine's Day because they're single they've lost their spouse they've had a breakup you know, there's so many things that can be going on in our minds during this month. And I'm like, you know what? Let's take a second, take us out of the like romantic part of love, which is amazing and awesome too. And I'm not discrediting that at all. And let's just focus a little bit about like loving ourselves, loving how we are, loving where we are in the moment, embracing our qualities and our talents, but also embracing our flaws and realizing that those make us who we are and we are going to be good enough regardless of what we can or can't achieve. I think there's this kind of misnomer that women who like to look good or work out or wear makeup that we're like trying to hide ourselves from the world that we don't love ourselves how we are. And that's not true. I don't put on makeup because I hate myself. I put it on because I love myself, because I like me, because it's artistic, because it's time for myself, because I enjoy doing it. And so that's kind of the message I'm putting out there. And a lot of the things I'm gonna choose in this self-love challenge are based on physical appearance, but they don't have to be. You can choose anything that you want to make a goal to do during the month that is just for you. And that's a bit, the only bottom line is, is these are not things that are gonna serve other people, these are things that are just gonna serve yourself. Now what's the difference between being selfish and having self-love? Being selfish is obviously looking at the world and only how it affects you and not thinking about other people where self-love is having compassion for yourself, doing things for yourself and building yourself up so that you can go ahead and in return help other people and be a better person in your workplace, be a better spouse, be a better mom, whatever it is that you're going through in your life that you have the confidence to do that and not, not being arrogant and prideful. Um, but I find most of the time pride is like not confidence. It's more of a, like a boasted false confidence, but just being like, yeah, my name is Amber, I'm awesome what I do, I'm excited for life, and I'm ready to see what I can accomplish. Versus being like, oh, you can't sit with us. You know, like, not being snooty, not being stuck up, not being, not putting yourself on a pedestal above other people, but just being confident and being accepting of others, not passing on judgment on wherever people are in their life. Even though I'm into makeup and fitness and fashion, I don't go around passing judgment on those who aren't. I have lots of dear friends of mine who could care less what they wear, care less if they wear makeup, and care less what they do with their hair. And I love them for who they are. I don't just love that they have the most fashionable shoes or whatever. So it's just about embracing ourselves and other people, but also not making it a negative if they want to do something that changes the way they look. There's nothing wrong if I wanna put on lipstick or I wanna hit the gym or whatever it is that I'm doing, if that makes me feel good, it's not hurting anyone else. I don't see why people have to have such a problem with women being fake or whatever if they want to do stuff that makes them feel good. Anyway, that being said, so I have chosen a few things that I'm going to focus on working on. The first thing is kind of simple, and I'm going to talk about this more in my everyday makeup drawer that's going to be coming up, but I am going to be focusing on getting ready every day but I'm also going to be focusing on just kind of like neutral eyes, but a pop of color. I find that having a pop on my lips just really brightens my day. It makes me feel more put together. I feel like I have so many lip colors and sometimes when I'm experimenting with lots of colors on my eyes, which I did do a lot of because I was using the Vice 3, now it's like, okay, I want to switch it up and just start playing with more colors on my lips. I feel like I can have like two seconds to get ready, put on mascara and put on a bright lip and I'm like feeling more vivacious or excited for life or whatever it is. So that's one thing I wanna do is focus on 
having lots of bright lip color, switching it up every day, experimenting with oranges and pinks and reds and just having a lot of fun, you know. The next thing I want to do, which sounds silly, but it's like just embracing and using and, and loving the jewelry that I have. It's, it's interesting how so many times we get caught up in FOMO and all these greatest and newest things, but I'm like, I have lots of jewelry that I really like that sometimes I forget to wear. So the first thing I'm doing is making my jewelry more accessible. My jewelry was back here and although it looked cute in my display, I found it very impractical for me to climb over my chair and dig through it and like pull out all the necklaces and see what they are. I just wasn't using it. So I moved it over on my dresser. So now it's somewhere right when I'm going out the door, I can see it. And also I wanna make sure that I've got something cute going on in my ears every day. You know, whether it's a dangly or a stud, I feel like I had a few weeks where I was just surviving and so I wasn't really taking time to put in earrings or something. And it's like, that's a little tiny thing, but I will notice the way people react to me or how I feel about myself when I take two seconds to like put in a cute little stud and a necklace or keep my same studs in and wear a bracelet or skip the other stuff and go for a dangly earring. Like whatever it is, I just wanna make sure I have some sort of jewelry on every day just because I enjoy it. It makes me feel a little bit more dressed up and not so much like frumpy mom. <laughs> and so that's one of the things I want to do. Also, I am going to be continuing my exercise every day. For those of you who don't know, I have been working as a coach and exercise has been a huge part of my life. And so I have been exercising five to six days a week for several months now and I've had some great results. So for those of you who are like looking at my last um, try on video with my swimsuits and you're like, wow, Amber, your body looks so amazing. I really appreciate that. And it is so kind of you guys to say those positive things because that was very much putting myself out there in an uncomfortable way. So I really appreciate your positive feedback. But I did get a comment saying like, oh wow, you're blessed with a great figure. And it's like, yes, I am blessed because my body genetics, you know, I'm taller or I have a naturally smaller waist or, you know, whatever. But I'm like, I've worked dang hard for this. So yes, I'm blessed, but I also have had to put in the time. And you can't just like eat one salad and work out one day and then be in really good shape. Like you have to continually doing it. So I'm also hosting a self-love challenge through my exercise group, which is actually going to be kicking off today. Hopefully I get this video up today, which is Monday. If not, it kicked off yesterday. But um, February 4th, we are gonna kick off our prep and then we're gonna start all the workouts the following week. But we're gonna have nutrition, we're gonna have workouts, we're going to just have these motivating self-love posts every day that help you just through your journey. So if you're feeling like one, you could use a little more self-love. Two, you think you need the accountability of having a group of other women helping and supporting you. And three, you could use a little bit of a push in the exercise direction. I know it's nice to think, oh, I'm gonna get in shape at the beginning of the year. And you think I have all these goals and I can just work out for free, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, you can, but are you? <laughs> so if you've already let go of your New Year's resolutions and they already have gone by the wayside, your eating habits have already gone back to normal and you need some help, let me know. I would be happy to work with you. I know how it feels to feel like you've lost yourself as a mom or as a woman and you got stuck in your career and this or that and you just don't have time. I know how important it is to make yourself a priority. I know how much of a difference it's made for me. So I am opening that up and that does give you a spot to work one-on-one -on -one with me. So like you're chatting with me, we're keeping in contact. So if basically if you want to be my new best friend, <laughs> come join me. I would love to work with you directly and help you find out what your goals are and get some more of that self-love going in your life. If you guys want more information, I will leave it down below. And you can also check me out on my Instagram, Amberlyn underscore fit, or send me a DM and I will get back to you. I'm basically available all the time. I've always pretty much got my phone near me. So if I got a message, I'm really pretty quick to reply. So don't feel shy to reach out and contact me. Next is something that is again, physical, but I want to get back to painting my nails. I can't tell you how long it's been since I painted my nails. You guys have probably noticed none of my videos lately I've had paint on my nails. So I've already picked out a color. So this one is from Essie. It's super affordable and let's see what color is this. I don't even know if it has an actual color shade, but it's just really cute. I thought it was appropriate for the month. A dark pink and so I've got the base coat, um, top coat, the express dry all sitting right here on my vanity. So it's in my line of sight. And so I want to make sure that for the month, I'm gonna keep something cute on my nails and my toenails. 
that's something that I've just kind of forgotten to do and I'm like, oh, I don't want to take an hour to do this. And it's like, why not? If it makes me happy, why not do it? Why not take a little time for myself this month and get back to something that I do enjoy doing? And let's see, the next one is taking a bubble bath or some kind of like night where I just kind of do a face mask, have a bath bomb or something at least once a week. I love taking relaxing baths. I love having bath bombs. I love doing all that, putting a deep conditioner on my hair, something like that for my skincare, that kind of stuff at least once a week because I, I enjoy it, but I find myself again, getting caught up, not having time, jumping in the shower and it's like, okay, Saturday night or Sunday night or whenever I have a little bit of time, get the kids to bed and just be like, no, I'm gonna put on the music and just relax and have some de-stressing time. And I know this is a lot of things. You're like, Amber, how are you gonna do all these things? I don't know. <laughs> is make sure that I'm getting some good positive reading in every day. So if you are a Christian, you could be reading in your Bible. If you want some motivation, you could listen to motivating podcasts. I really, really like podcasts because they're one free and there's so many of them that are available that are just like empowering and just kind of helping you realize how amazing and important you are. But I will suggest that if you're needing some motivation in your life, if you're trying to start your own business, if you're trying to just feel motivated about things, I love Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis and I also love uh, Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass. Those are two amazing books that I finished recently. So again, making time every day, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, it doesn't have to be long to get some of that personal development time back into me. So I'm feeling like I've taken some time away from my kids, away from the laundry, away from the dishes, away from the things that are, that are always gonna be there all the time and just take a second and put them back into me. So those are kind of my plans. I don't know if those are things that you guys are interested in doing, but just find a few things, find two things, find five things that you feel like you're not doing very much and just make it an effort. And you have to realize that if you're gonna be focusing some time on yourself, something's gotta give. So yeah, maybe you're gonna get behind on the laundry one day. Yeah, maybe the floor isn't gonna get mopped till tomorrow. But you know what guys, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to, to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I need to clean out this closet, but I'm gonna take care of me and I will do it tomorrow. And not saying you need to procrastinate all your housework and all these things and all your responsibilities, but just finding a good balance in your life so you feel like you're giving back to yourself as much as you're giving to everybody else. Because if you're working a job, if you have kids, if you're a spouse, then you're giving to other people. It's just a given. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll join along with me with my self-love challenge. And let me know down below, what are a few things that you guys are gonna do this month to get back at it, to love yourself, to express love to yourself? I would love to hear. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.